we'd like to welcome in right now Morton Klein. He is the national president of Zionist Organization of America. Mort, great to have you today. I'd like to begin with that statement from the White House that Daniel uh, Cohen just talked about. If they're meant to strengthen partnerships, how can the First Lady, Jill Biden, with everything happening in this very moment, not put Israel on the itinerary? And it's not the first time. It is not, and uh, President Biden hasn't spoken to Netanyahu uh, in quite a while himself. The reason they don't want her to go to Israel are two reasons. One, they don't want to force her to see the horrors of what the 3,500 Hamas monsters uh, did in the south of Israel. <laughs> because I've just came back from Israel. You'll, she would see thousands of burned out homes, homes with bullet holes everywhere in the roofs, on the walls, on the floors. <laughs> they would see a thousand cars that were burned. Uh, she'd have to report this horror. And they would see that no one is living in the south of Israel or the north of Israel. They're living in hotels, people's homes, tents. And she'd have to report how horrible uh, what Hamas did. They don't want that. Secondly, they want to intimidate Israel. They want to intimidate Israel to having a permanent ceasefire uh, against this war, against the Iran-funded and supported Hamas, which, by the way, is a war that helps America. These people hate America and Christians as well as Jews. And they want to pressure Israel to support a Palestinian state, which would be a nightmare. Uh, the Arabs had a mini state in Gaza. You see what happened. They launched 30,000 rockets, and now they committed this, uh, this un, uh, extraordinary uh, massacre. Uh, and uh, they want a, a Israel to support a state and to have Abbas as the head. Abbas, uh, the head of the Palestinian Authority, who has said he is proud of what happened on October 7th, this massacre, and that his own people participated in it. That's why they don't want her to go there. Warren Klein, obviously, we watched what happened with the uncommitted vote in Michigan. Uh, Joe Biden is not going to be able to escape this issue in Israel and Gaza as we look towards his uh, State of the Union address as well. We'll see how he weaves it in. Pleasure to have you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us with your perspective Thank you. today. Thank you.